Good day, McVeigh, and happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls, you may be seated. Let's get to our birthday book. Okay. So, for today, happy birthday to Emily Reyes in our second grade and Ibrahim Alvi in our first grade. And our lunch today, boys and girls, is pizza. Borzette ham and cheese, grilled cheese, or a bagel lunch. Okay, so we had the first day of our school store yesterday. It was fifth grade plus kindergarten, rooms 102 and 101. So boys and girls, when you get to the cart, that uh, today we have fourth grade, tomorrow will be third grade, so we're going by hallway. So here's the cart. When you get to the cart, make sure you have your order form so that we can go quickly and get everybody through the cart quickly. And then next time, it will have different items. Some of the things that boys and girls are really liking are the cool uh, mechanical pencils. So this is kind of where you push the end and, and the lead comes out and has a nice eraser. Another hot item is the multicolor pen. See that? It has all these different colors. When you press down, now it will be lavender. But if I do this, it will be red instead. So all these different things are here for you at the cart. Again, you must have your order form when you come to the cart, and you can only spend a dollar. Okay, so those are some things that we're looking forward to. So today, fourth grade and uh, rooms 101, sorry, 201 and 202. Tomorrow will be third grade. Okay, so as we move on to our study of South America for today... We have this flag. Now, we had this one the other day. Remember I said there are three flags that are very similar. So we had this one the other day that was Ecuador. This one is Colombia. Now I showed you them on the map. So we had Ecuador, Colombia, and Venezuela is the other country that has a flag that looks like this. So the meaning of the flag is very similar. So we have the yellow for um, tranquility and justice. Blue uh, is all about loyalty to uh, the country, and the red represents the sacrifice made by the people for Ecuador to become an independent country. Now, so, I'm sorry, Colombia to become an independent country. Now, Colombia is very interesting because on the coast of Colombia is the highest coastal mountain range in the world. So what that means is that the ocean on the map where the ocean meets Colombia, there's the highest mountain range in the world that's on the ocean. And in that mountain range are every ecosystem you can think of. Tundra, which is uh, frozen land, desert, rainforest, tropical rainforest, glaciers, which is freezing because of the mountains. And in addition to that, there are what we would call indigenous people. There are four indig indigenous tribes that live in the mountains of uh, Colombia, the uh, Sierra Nevada, 
uh, mountain range. Um, and those people really don't have contact with the outside world. They live the way they did for many, many thousands of years. They are living there and using the land for what they need. So they don't rely on places like Target or anything else, just on what they know how to do, their skills with the earth. So here would be an example of some of those people. I love this calendar. Ms. Santarp gave it to me. So these are some indigenous people of the coastal mountain range that sort of just live in their tribe and uh, continue on without worrying about things like we worry about cell phones, TVs, things like that. Nope, not at all. And there are many tribes throughout the world that we'll be learning about, about as we move around the world. Okay, now on uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact, we looked at this, we tried to figure out who this is. I love having German and Italian traditions. I remember this. I love cooking, special re recipes and making uh, foods from other cultures, baking old world cookies. I used to be a ballet dancer. I teach first grade. I have three children and I'm married. Who is this? Who am I? If you said, Mrs. Cassano, you're right. So this is going to be hanging on the wall soon. And today, we're going to this one. Now listen carefully. My mom was born in Buenos Aires. This is a city in a South American country. The country's flag is on my shirt. Look at the shirt. We know what flag that is. I grew up in East Meadow. I played volleyball for the East Meadow Jets. I celebrate Hanukkah, and I have traveled to 43 states in America. And I know she has because I've seen lots of pictures. Look, there's a volleyball. Do we remember this? Where is Buenos Aires? Now, I know that one of our birthday boys today, Abraham, knows where this is and where that flag is. Does anybody remember that flag? Hmm. That is the flag of Argentina. And so, yes. And this person celebrates Hanukkah. We learned about Hanukkah in, in December. Who am I? Let's see. Okay, and finally, our Get Smart show today kind of ties into that. This is from Josh Mahaffey, and it's on Ellis Island. So, he says, welcome to Ellis Island. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. This is a small summary of what used to happen to immigrants moving to America at the beginning of the 20th century. So, a long time ago, people that came to America first had to go to this place called Ellis Island, which happens to be right here in New York. And so they would go there in order to come into the USA. And, but now Ellis Island is closed. It's much different. But here's how it was way back then. First, there was a ship ride, as Josh talks about. And then he tells us all about it. So he says, the voyage to America is a long 10-day ride. It could have been very long on a ship, 10 days. And when you got to Ellis Island, you had to take a medical test to make sure that you weren't sick and not bringing any diseases into the country. Then you were able to sign into America. To get in, you need to check into the immigration statement, station and register your name. Then you had to answer questions about America and your old home. And not everybody got in. Some had to go back because they, they, couldn't, they could have been sick or didn't have the right information with them. And then once they were able, once the uh, people that came to America called immigrants, once they got through Ellis Island, then they pretty much began their lives here, many in New York City. And then Josh gave us a little quiz. Thanks, Josh. So, boys and girls, uh, when we are a country that comes or uh, was born of many countries, so lots and lots of people from different places came together. That's called immigration. And now it's different to come to America. But back then, there was this place called Ellis Island, which you'll be learning more about in fifth grade. 
finally, we have our Getting Smart Through Art before our uh, Mighty Kind Moment of the Day. So here, we have some awesome mountains. And if we saw some water on the other side, uh, guess what? They could be the Sierra Nevadas that we uh, just learned about. Tinkerbell. I love Tinkerbell, by the way. And, oh, I'm sorry, the mountains were by Alexandra in Miss Zucker's class. I don't know, uh, Eleni did Tinkerbell. Good work, Eleni. And here we have Liam, who drew some beautiful uh, hearts for us. Good work, Liam. And so it's time for a mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Ready? Begin each day with a smile. Begin each day with a smile. So what does that mean? It means, boys and girls, that what we've been talking about all the time, it's all about our attitude, how uh, we are that makes a difference in our day and the days of others. So if you start with a smile, automatically the day is going to be better than it would have been if you didn't. So if you start like this, The first person that sees you is going to say, hey, what's the matter? So now two people are thinking about something not so good. Whereas you start like this, people are thinking, ha, ah, good to see you here. They're thinking, what's wrong with her? Why does she feel like that? So starting with a smile gets everybody off on the right foot. So let's try that. Start with a smile. Why? Because we're mighty minds. Not only that, we're mighty kind, mighty minds. And every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.